Hey there guys, this is Elite Killer and I'm bringing you my build video, my 1.6.1 Hexo build. This is the current build I am using in my videos. Um, I'm using this in Last Stand and in the DZ. Okay, to so just start with, okay, this can be run solo and as a team build. Um, although the toughness does seem low, um, the skill power does make up for it. To start with, I'm running a vigorous chest piece. Okay, now vigorous chest piece rolled for firearms. It's got a health on there, enemy armor damage, and 50% ammo capacity. And the mods I'm running are stamina and health, and firearms and health. With the mask, I'm running a tenacious mask, so it increases the damage by 10% for 10 seconds when using a med kit, uh, which helps out a lot. And uh, that is rolled for electronics okay and i've got skill power as a major attribute and the minor attribute is disorient resist you can change the minor and um, it just so happens i haven't got a mask where i can change that minor so with the knee pads i'm running the short bow knee pads rolled for firearms okay and with skill power uh, as a major attribute 51% uh, increased kill xp blind death resistance and damage to elites the prototype firearms mod is 267 with health and my performance mod is 2% pulse critical hit damage. Now with the holster, I'm running a nimble holster. Um, it's got good stats across the board. 1268 firearms, 1272 stamina and 1269 electronics. And the major attribute is skill haste. Um, I haven't got a high skill haste on this, uh, on this build so I probably would change the skill haste for something else. Um, as I don't run skill haste, um, maybe that's silly of me, maybe not. With the performance mod, 2% critical hit damage again. With the gloves that I'm running, I'm running the Skull MC gloves to get that extra damage. So it's increased by 16% when no set bonuses are active. Okay, that's rolled for firearms. I've got SMG damage, critical hit damage, which is maxed out, and crit hit chance. Now with the backpack i am running specialized that's rolled for electronics major attribute skill power 52 percent ammo capacity and the prototype firearms mod is 264 with skill power with two mods that are pulse critical hit damage now the weapons i'm using for this build my primary weapon is a mp5 st with 22k base damage 19 percent crit hit chance already on there and with that I'm running con uh, competent, adept and deadly so I'm going for a um, more crit hit chance, crit hit damage and obviously the weapon damage from competent now the mods I'm using on this weapon I'm using 19% crit hit damage, 5.5% headshot damage and 3% crit hit chance now on the small grip I'm using a 19% damage, critical hit damage 4.5% reload speed, 2.5% stability the magazine, I'm running 120.5% magazine size, 4% crit hit damage, 5.5% rate of fire. And the red dot sight, I'm running 19% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 6% headshot damage. Now my secondary weapon that I use is a lightweight M4, 18% enemy armor damage, 22.6k uh, weapon damage. Of responsive, deadly, and fierce. Uh, I would like adept and competent on that. I just haven't rolled one as of yet. Um, the mods that I have on this is the loud vent break again with 19% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, 4.5% optimal range. The small grip, 19% crit hit damage, 2.5% accuracy, 4.5% optimal range. And the magazine is the same as the MP5, it's 120.5% mag size, 4% crit hit damage, 5.5 rate of fire. And the scope is a 3.4 times scope, 19% crit hit damage, 5% optimal range, 2.5% crit hit chance. Now with these weapons, um, I have weapon damage, obviously 22.018, so that's fine. Crit hit chance at 30.5%. Crit hit damage at 118%, headshot damage 62%. Okay, when I go on to the damage to elite, it's 14%, 5.5 enemy armor damage, and the threat is increased by 41% because of that loud vent break. Skill power, I've got 211,000, uh, skill haste 6%. This is what I said earlier, I don't roll with skill haste um, because I'll actually have to move the mods and probably lose 
um, more toughness or actually lose skill power. And my survivability is maximum health is 182,000, um, which is not the highest that, that you could have. We want that over 200,000 ideally. Armor 31.1%. It's not a big deal in this anymore with armor. Um, that was more 1.5. So that is my rolls on there. Now going to my uh, abilities, I'm in a pulse. Now this is where the skill power comes in. This is how this build is surviving, how I'm surviving within the DZ. Okay, so with the pulse that I'm running, I'm running a tactical scanner. Now that puts my crit hit chance to 20.10% extra. So that would be over 50% crit hit chance. Critical hit damage uh, puts it at 34.90%, which actually puts my crit hit damage to about 150%. Okay, the cooldown obviously is not great because I haven't run in skill haste. Um, but that's still a good uh, good beefy pulse to, to take down players now with the booster shot I'm running um, it's 108,000 um, ally heal 108,000 self heal as well 37 seconds for the um, cooldown now with that if as soon as I pop any of these um, abilities it's gonna pop in competent it's gonna pop in adept Okay, so then we're going to get more of a boost on top of that. So if you put your 7.5% on top of the crit hit chance, you're looking at nearly 60% crit hit chance once I've popped that heal or when I've popped the pulse. So with the talents, I am running a critical save, combat medic, precision, and chain reaction because of the short bone knee pads with the chain reaction. Precision is good because if you hit headshots, it pulls them for 10 seconds. Um, also, uh, critical save using medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20%. Helps you get out of a sticky situation. And combat medic because I work as a team um, and to try and heal my team from teammates as well. And that comes to the end of my video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what build I'm running. I hope this has answered any questions you have regarding the build. If you do have any more questions, Put it in the comments below. I'm sure to answer you back. I'll try and help you as much as possible. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and look out for some more.